Namaste and hello, this is your Sanskrit instructor welcoming you back into lesson number 219 where we will be going over some more vocabulary that involves nouns and adjectives with three stems. In this column, we are going to learn about and these are the only words that focuses on these types of adjectives and they are pronominal adjectives. The rest are not pronominal. So the pronominal adjectives involved are other, one, other, and which of the two. So there are three versions of other, then ver those versions are different in gender. So you have the masculine version, anyaha, the feminine, anya, then the neuter, Anyad. Then we have eka, which means one, para, which means other. Then we have the masculine, kataraha, feminine, katara, and the neuter, katarad. And that is which those three means which of the two, which of two. Then we have some more adjectives. So we have Chakravas, having done. Then we have Jig, Jig, Jigmivas, having done. Then we have Tastivas, having stood. Ninivas, having led. Jignivas, having killed. Vid was a learned man. And now we will go over some new nouns. So we have Rajan, which is king. Raja is what it would become in the nominative singular. Masculine. Then we have Vartman, noun for path, and it becomes Vartma. Then we have Mahiman, becomes Mahima, masculine for greatest. Then we have Gariman, which is masculine for heaviness, and you have Garima. Preman, is the word for love could be masculine masculine version is prema neuter version is prema then we have wurdhan which is masculine for head and that becomes murdha Atman, masculine for self, becomes Atma. Naman, neuter for name, Nama. Karman, neuter for your work, Karma. Then we have Jaman, neuter for birth, Janma, it becomes. Then we have the word Brahman, the absolute. So we have Brahyan. So for masculine, it's Brahya and then Brahya for Brahman, the absolute. So Brahya is the neuter. Brahya is masculine. Vyoman, neuter noun for a sky. It becomes Vyoma. Then we have 
Basman, new term for ashes, and that's Basma. Veshman, new term for house, becomes Veshma. Loman, new term for here, becomes Loma. Charman, new term for skin or leather, becomes Charma. And Chadman, new term for disguise or fraud, becomes Chad. Ma. Pratyach means western or averted. These are more adjectives. Nyach is downward. Samyach, right or proper. Udach, upward. Anvach, following. Vishwach, pervading. Didyach, horizontal. Parach, turn away. Parach, eastern. Avach, southern. Then. Jyotsna is moonlight. Chandalaha is outcast. Visham is poison. Vidha means to perform or to lay down. Dha is in the third conjugation, which has not been covered. So to perform or to lay down. Then this the ram. Ram is first conjugation for a smaipadi. That is, that becomes viramati, and that means to stop or to cease. First conjugation for a smaipadi. Viram, viramati, to stop or to sneeze. Viramati is what it would be in third person singular. These are all of the vocabulary that um, is presented to you for this video. And with that, this is your Sanskrit instructor signing off with a namaste.